Grease is the word. If there's one musical turned movie that everyone knows every word to, it might just be the 1978 movie Grease, starring Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. Based on the 1971 musical of the same name, the story follows the lives of greaser Danny Zuko and Australian transfer student Sandy Olsen. The two develop a mutual attraction for each other when they meet on summer vacation, and are caught off guard when they meet again at the same school when the semester begins. Dun dun dun. Alongside are the Pink Ladies and the T-Birds. This talented and memorable cast was able to help the movie rise to immediate critical acclaim. It has since become a household name and continues to charm even the younger generations. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick from Do You Remember, and today we're taking a look at these cast members back in the day and also seeing what they're up to now. Oh, and be sure to hit the like button in the bottom right hand corner, and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss a single video we come out with. Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John was born on September 26, 1948. At just 14 years old, she formed a short-lived girl group called Soul 4. She would soon become a local radio star in Australia and even landed a spot on a television show, The Happy Show. Olivia already found some success with the songs she had been putting out through the late 60s and 70s, such as If Not For You. If not for you. But it wasn't until she joined the cast of Grease as Sandy Olsen that she would become front and center. Olivia originally wasn't even sure she wanted to take on the role of Sandy and wanted to see the screen test footage before committing to anything. It's safe to say she made the right decision when taking on the role of Sandy. Following the success of Grease, she continued to produce chart-topping songs like 1981's Physical. In recent years, Olivia had sadly been diagnosed with cancer and has actually battled it three times. She opened up her own medical center, the Olivia Newton-John Cancer and Wellness Center, where both she and many others received treatment. As of 2017, she was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer that spread to her bones. Olivia has eagerly discussed the use of medical cannabis during her treatment and confirms that she is doing quite well these days. And as of 2020, she's still doing great health-wise and is also helping her daughter out by way of moral support as she competes on Australia's Dancing with the Stars. John Travolta the man that every lady wanted and every man wanted to be, especially while he donned the Danny Zuko attire. John was born on February 18, 1954, and after dropping out of high school at age 17, he moved to New York City and immediately landed a role in the touring company of the musical, you guessed it, Grease. While being a very successful actor throughout the early 70s, he also began finding success with his songs such as 1976's Let Her In, which peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. Gonna let her while he was catapulted into immediate stardom with the success of the 1978 film Grease, he also found triumph with films like Saturday Night Fever, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Now John has gone through trials and tribulations throughout his life as well, including the death of his 16-year-old son Jet, who died from complications of a seizure. Travolta has since been keeping active as ever in the film industry with films like 2019's The Fanatic and also the film Gotti, where John swapped last names with the famous John Gotti. As of 2020, there was actually a Meet in Greece event that featured both John and Olivia in their original Grease costumes. Fans could not get over the excitement of seeing the movie's leading couple back in their old style. Stockard Channing Stockard Channing, who graced the role of Betty Rizzo, was born on February 13, 1944. She began her early acting career in the late 60s by appearing in shows at a Boston theater company, and by 1971 she was making her Broadway debut in Two Gentlemen of Verona, the musical. In addition to dominating the Broadway stage, Stockard would make her television debut on Sesame Street in the early 70s as well. And by 1977, at the age of 33, she was ready to go back to high school and she was cast as Rizzo. Through the 80s and 90s, she continued to work in theater, TV, and film, even having her own show, The Stockard Channing Show. As of right now, her last screen credit was in 2017 for a TV series called The Guest Book. So we're guessing she's likely winding down in the acting biz. Dee Dee Khan. Dee Dee is best known for her role of pink lady, Frenchie. Born on July 13, 1951, she made her debut as an actress in the 1960s. And prior to finding success in Greece, she also starred in 1977's You Light Up My Life. Funny enough, her character's singing voice was actually provided by someone else, a singer named Casey Sissick. 
Dee Dee also starred in the subsequent Grease film, Grease 2, which sadly didn't do nearly as well as the original. In 2016, she did have a cameo in Grease Live, the television special that aired on Fox, so it looks like Grease has been a very huge part of her life since it first began. In more recent years, Dee Dee announced in 2018 she would be a contestant on the TV show Dancing on Ice, which made her the oldest contestant to have ever competed on the show at 67 years old. The actress still occasionally does interviews, most recently speaking up on her friend Olivia Newton-John and her cancer battle in 2019. The best news that I heard is Olivia Newton-John is doing beautifully Oh, well. good. Her spirit shines. In February 2020, Dee Dee met up with Happy Days, Donnie Most, and others for a 70s flashback reunion, and she looks beautiful as ever. Miss you, Frenchie. Jeff Conaway. Jeff Conaway was best known for his role as the suave Kaniki, Danny Zuko's best bud and sidekick. Both his parents were huge into the arts, so it made sense for Jeff to also pursue the same path. His pre-professional career began while attending high school at the Quintano School for Young Professionals. He also played with the rock band Three and a Half at age 15, and he attended the North Carolina School of the Arts and would later transfer to New York University. Similar to Travolta's path, Jeff was an understudy in the original cast of the Broadway musical Grease. He also had numerous TV appearances on the show Happy Days, Taxi, and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Sadly, Jeff encountered a lot of health problems in the 80s that stemmed from drug abuse. While undergoing treatments, he endured a number of relapses throughout the years and sadly died in 2011 as a result of the drug usage. While he lived a sad second half of his life, we will always remember him as the badass Kaniki from Greece. Dinah Manoff now we all remember Dinah Manoff as the gorgeous and sweet-talking Marty Maraschino. Born on January 25th, 1956, she was basically born into the arts, as her mother was an actress, director, writer, and her father was a screenwriter. She was truly destined for showbiz. Her first project began in the 1970s with independent film Everybody Rides the Carousel, and soon she made her TV debut on the PBS production of The Stronger. Her TV roles would continue until she landed the role of Pink Lady Marty in Greece. Following her work in Greece, she began working in theater in the 80s and even won the Tony Award for Best Performance by a Featured Actress in a Play for the show Ought to Be in Pictures. Her productivity in the acting industry has dwindled throughout recent years, but we'll always remember her as Marty. What is you tonight? I feel like a defective typewriter. Jamie Donnelly. Now who could forget Jamie Donnelly as a lovable Jan? In the early 1970s, she would star in the United States premiere of the Rocky Horror Show. She also had some cool other gigs going on, including appearing on stage at the Roxy Theater in Los Angeles with Tim Curry and Meatloaf in 1974, when the show opened. Several years later, she was called to read for Grease, and the rest is truly history for her. While Jamie had an impressive theater resume, she also had an expansive history in film, her most recent screen credit being in 2017. She appeared in the film Cargo, and her film credits span all the way back to 1974. At 72 years old, she's settling down now, but we'll never forget her ability to make anyone laugh as Jan. Barry Pearl. Barry Pearl is best known for his role as the goofy and lovable Duty. Born on March 29, 1950, he began his film and TV work in the mid-1970s on a TV show called CPO Sharky with the great Don Rickles. He has an extensive repertoire of both TV and film, but his most notable roles may have been Duty in the 1978 Grease film and his cameo in Grease Live in 2016. Can you spot Barry's quick little cameo? While his Grease Live cameo was his last known acting credit, he does teach film arts all across the United States to special needs communities with Joey Travolta's Inclusion Film Company over the summers. I mean, what a fantastic and thoughtful way to spend his time. Michael Tucci. Oh boy, who could forget about Sonny? Michael Tucci played the role of feisty T-Bird Sonny. While this is his best known role, he did have some recurring roles following the success of the musical movie. For example, he was in the TV series The Paper Chase from 1983 to 1986. He also did some stage work as well, as he was part of the touring company of the musical Chicago, playing the role of Amos, Roxy Hart's husband. In recent years, he also played Dick Van Dyke's friend and hospital administrator for the first four seasons of Diagnosis Murder, and played the father of Melissa McCarthy's character in the 2013 comedy The Heat. 
Michael is also a retired high school teacher and theater coach, so he's likely retiring from the limelight as well. Kelly is best known for playing the role of T-Bird Putsy. He first gained national attention and success with the television film The Boy in the Plastic Bubble in 1976. John Travolta actually starred as the leading role, so they had a relationship prior to Grease. However, following the success of Grease, he didn't appear on screen much and stopped altogether in 1983. Despite this, he has taken on a different avenue of the arts, lending his guidance for voice work on Disney television animation. He has voice directed Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and much more. He knows the voice. Can you believe it's been over 40 years since Grease was released? Yeah, me neither. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's what you do with your dance and shoes. Well, that's the Grease cast. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss a single video we release. And please tell us if we missed anything in the comment section below. From all of us here at Do You Remember, thank you for watching.